Welcome back. I hope you all watch this video uh, before you work on quiz three. So I put a couple links uh, here. So uh, like the basic slide I went through for this week about ECC and EDC. Um, they come from the tutorial, the public tutorial for error correction, error detection. So uh, party check. So uh, the two links here covers all the basic concepts. And then you could read through them if you did not have chance to watch the videos. So you could read through this um, material and you will be able to finish the, the quiz. You'll be able to finish the quiz. So first of all, uh, watch through the, the material and then let's go through the uh, the question. So um, finish the following question, submit your answer to Blackboard. What is error? So as we just mentioned in the previous videos, if you haven't got a chance to read, to watch the videos, you could read the, uh, the tutorial link. Uh, click on the link here, then you could read the tutorial. So basically, in uh, we're thinking about in the communication channel, and someone sent me a binary message. And for a binary message, because we're using communication, uh, we are using computers, devices to communicate with each other. So it's not like I send you a message, it's how are you? So the how are you will be eventually translated to be a binary sequence in, in the computer, of course, right? So all we're dealing with are a bunch of zeros and ones. So if there are always zero and ones, then what is the arrow? So the zero, uh, the arrow could only be a zero um, change to one or uh, a one change to zero, right? So it's so simple. So that this, the, the definition of the error is actually, you know, uh, your original message is zero and they change to one, or your your original message is one and they changed to zero. So what is the biggest difference between the error detection code and the error correction code? So I just uh, uh, talked about this in the previous videos for this week, but remember, <laughs> remember that, uh, if I would like to detect, uh, if I would like to detect the error, that basically means I want to answer the yes or no question uh, if there is an error or not. But if I would like to uh, correct the error, then I have to answer the question where the error is. Where the error is. Okay. So if I know where the error is, then I can flip the that bit. I can flip that bit. Then I will be able to correct the error. So. This is uh, the key point. So for the error correction code, we do not only uh, detect the error, we also want to know the location of the error. And this way we could crack the error. This way we could crack the error. So the question three is asking you to uh, add an even parity, add an even parity check. So did I say even? Good. So add an even parity check uh, bit, even parity check bit to maintain uh, there are even number of ones. There are even number of ones in this uh, code word, in this code word. So you know uh, what I should add. Suppose, uh, for another example, suppose my original um, sequence is zero, um, one, zero, one, one, zero, one. So for me to add one extra bit in front of one, zero, one, because I need to maintain there are even number of ones, and there are already two bit one, two bit ones in it. So I should add a zero because I do not want to change the number of ones. Uh, it is already a even number. So the last question here, uh, Q4 and Q5 um, are actually using the 74 Hamming code um, to, uh, first of all, if you would like to generate the 74 Hamming code and given the original message is one one, uh, Zero zero one one zero zero. So that basically means your original message is the B seven, B six, B five, and the B three. So we would like to figure out uh, B two, B one, and B four, and that's the parity check bits. Parity check bits. And how can we do that according to uh, the slides, the note, and the uh, reference material? If you click on the link, there are. Uh, two examples, uh, two examples in this link, um, to uh, as very similar to this problem. So you could actually uh, figure out how to calculate B1, B2, and B4 according to uh, using the XOR of uh, B3, B5, B7, B6. 
So uh, following the sequence, following the equations given in the tutorial, then you'll be able to figure out the code word. And then after you got the code word, of course, uh, there could be certain bit wrong when you transfer this to your friend. So if the receiver, which is your friend, received some bit code like this, uh, a code word like this, so you have to, you know, you have to detect you cannot simply tell me this is wrong because I know the right answer. You, we are assume, we're assuming that we are the receiver. And if we, if we are the receiver, then of course we do not know what is the true answer, right? So only thing we can do is we should calculate the check bit C1, C2, C3, C1, C2, C3, according to Seven four Hamming code principle. Seven four Hamming code principle. So we need to do the XOR of so certain bit. XOR of certain uh, bit group. So such as B one, B three, B five, B seven. Such as. Uh, Uh, B1, B2, yeah. uh, let me quickly check. So this one is taking every other bit. This one is uh, for every four bit. And then this one should be every two bit, two bit, uh, two bit. So it's two, two, three, six, seven. Two, three, six, seven. So by doing the XOR of what you received, so remember what we have received is this one. So you do not have the access to the original message and we do not know what, what is the original message because we are assuming we are the receiver. We're the receiver and all we have right now is this. So don't look at the, I know you know what, uh, I mean, you know, even you know the answer because you just did the previous problem. So you know what is the true message, uh, how the message should look like. But remember, we are the receiver. So this is what we received. And we should use what we received to perform the XOR uh, for the parity check of each bit group. And then we will be able to figure out a binary value, uh, binary value uh, for B3, uh, C3, C2, C1, and the decimal value of the C3, C2, C1 actually is the location of the arrow, is the location of the arrow, okay? So this is how you work on um, the quiz three problems. And uh, if you do not understand this way, you watch the previous couple videos uh, and then you will be able to get a step. All right, I will stop here.